Hey there guys, All Things Apple Plus here. Wanted to give you guys just a quick tutorial on how to get your iOS 9.2 to 9.3.3 .3 device jailbroken without the aid of a computer. Now, if you checked out my vi uh, my previous video um, concerning the jailbreak, uh, it's a step-by-step -step method on how to get the jailbreak via your uh, via your computer. But this is a surefire way on how to get the um, the you know the Joe broke or to get Cydia on your iDevice without any sort of uh, need for a PC. So let's go ahead and ditch the PC. We won't be needing this guy. We're actually going to flip to uh, my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Alrighty, guys. Now that we've ditched the PC, let's go ahead and get back into the tutorial. So we are going to hit the settings menu. And just to actually, just to verify and show you guys that I am on iOS 9.3.3, .3, let's go and hit the About section, and there I am, iOS 9.3.3. And from here, we're going to scroll down till we hit Safari. So we, once you see Safari, go ahead and tap on it. From Safari, scroll all the way down to you see Clear History and Website Data. Go ahead and do that for me. So we're going to Clear History and Website Data. And then from here, back out, and what I'm going to have you guys do is completely turn off your devices. So shut off your devices and then shut and then turn them back on. And then from there, uh, we'll go ahead and continue the process. This actually will help when you're uh, installing third-party apps onto your iDevice. So go ahead and uh, slide to power off and we'll be, and I'll come, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, now that you've completely uh, turned off and turned on your devices, we're gonna navigate back into Safari and from here, I'm going to have you guys go to jailbreakme9.com. All right. So from jailbreakme9.com, this is the website that we're going to get a, this third-party uh, Pengu jailbreak app from. So we're going to uh, we're actually going to click the download now button. And it's going to prompt us to go ahead and install the jailbreak. So we're going to install. You can go ahead and back out and you'll notice that the application is loading. All right, there we go. So before we actually even get into the application, we need to trust it via our profiles and device management and settings. So scroll over to settings from settings. We're going to go into general from general scroll all the way down so you see profiles and device management click on that and it's going to be this one it's uh acram that you're gonna that's gonna be the one uh you know enterprise app that you're gonna be looking for go ahead and click on it trust and trust again back out and then now you can go ahead and launch the application. If you try launching the application prior, it's just going to give you an error where it's going to ask you to trust it. So again, tap on the on that blue circle in the right in the middle of it and then turn off your devices right away. And then you'll notice that your phone um, will initiate the jailbreak process and then you should see your device restart. Once you see your device restart, uh, we'll go ahead and continue on from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so if you've done everything correctly, if you tapped in the middle of that circle and you've comp and you've locked your device, you should have seen your iPhone restart. After that, go ahead and slide over and you should notice Cydia and that third party application have been installed on your iDevice. So we can go ahead and launch Cydia like normal and all of our packages should load from here. So officially you are now jailbroken and you had and you were able to do it without a computer so there you guys have it you have Cydia finally onto your iDevice and your device is completely jailbroken and again this is actually this is running on iOS 9.3.3 .3. so I hope this vid helped uh, if you guys have any questions concerns or if you guys are having some trouble with the website or if it's something's not loading uh, please don't hesitate to ask or you know uh, for help and uh, you know I'm always here to help you guys out you have my email address you have my Twitter uh, Instagram page if you guys have any questions please leave them in the in the comment section below or if you want to reach out to me in other uh, through other you know ways of social media go ahead and do that as well uh, prior to this even uh, when the first jailbreak or when it did come out I noticed that my Cydia didn't have any um, 
any sort of tweaks under changes. Everything was completely uh, blank. And I re-ran the process one more time and it worked the second time around. So sometimes these things need a, um, a second go around. So again, this is the jailbreak. This is only for devices that are 64 bit and up. So that means if you are an, I if you are an iPhone 5S user and up, you can go ahead and jailbreak your device. If you're an iPhone 5 and below, you are, are unfortunately unable to jailbreak your device. I believe this will work on iPad Pros. This will work on the later versions of the I, of your iPads. Um, and then as for iPod Touches, I don't believe this will work for uh, iPod Touches uh, that are fifth generation and below, sixth generation and up. You should be able to. Uh, what I'll do is I'll research and see if there's um, a website that I can uh, find the different uh, iDevices that are 64-bit and I'll go ahead and paste them in the description below. That way you can go ahead and match yours and if it if your device is a 64-bit device then um, you can go ahead and continue on with the jailbreak process. So I hope you guys did enjoy that. I hope it, you know, it helps you guys out. If you guys again have any sort of questions please let me know. And for all things Apple Plus I hope you guys have a good rest of your guys' night. In peace.